Hello everyone, this is Deep and welcome to my channel Deep Codes. So today we will be discussing a lead code problem 2493 that says divide nodes into maximum number of groups. So here we are given n nodes numbered in from 1 to n and the edges 2D vector which states the edge between node A and node B and the edge is bidirectional. So, uh, so these two input we are given the number of nodes and the edges between those nodes. Further, we are asked to uh, group uh, the nodes into n number of groups. So there are, there, there are two conditions to divide the graph into n groups. The first condition says each node of the graph sh should belong to exactly one group. That means that no uh, single node can belong to more than one group. The second condition says that for each pair of nodes in a graph that are connected by an edge, means simply for all the edges let's say between the node 1 and 2 the difference between the group index must be 1 for example uh, uh, let's say the uh, for a node 1 the group id is 2 and for a node 2 the group id is 3 then the difference is 3 minus 2 that is 1 so similarly for all the other edges between the nodes for example let's take uh, for 2 and 6 for 2 it is group 3 and 6 it is group 4 and the difference is 1 so we have to satisfy this both condition and form maximum number of m groups further uh, if it is impossible to group the nodes then return minus one so there would be a condition or a situation where we won't be able to group the, uh, uh, the graph uh, by satisfying these two conditions then we simply return minus one but another point to note here is the given graph may be disconnected so we will uh, discuss later about this disconnected component in this video Let's take a look of this example. So here we are given uh, six nodes with their edges, and we form this graph. Now uh, let me show this again. So here we are given node one, and from that we have node two, node four, node three, node six, and four to six. We are also given one node five, and it's like this way. So one thing where uh, how you can uh, assign them group is let's say group uh, group one to node one then group two to five group two and group two group three and group three so this is one way of assigning them the group but the issue here is that uh, uh, we can't we are not able to find maximum groups uh, because uh, because we assigned a uh, group one to one and simultaneously we assign groups to if other nodes but uh, we can uh, uh, we can optimize the solution by assigning let's say if we assign group one to five and group two to one group three group three and group four group four so this is where we can form four groups now the in logic behind this here here is we will find the distances between uh, each and every component. Uh, so to determine how many maximum number of groups possible, we will find the distances of component 1 to all its other component and take the maximum of those distances. So the distances will be from 1 to 2, 1 to 3, 1 to 4, 1 to 5, 1 to 6. Similarly for uh, 5 to 1, 5 to 2, 5 to 6 and 6 to 1 6 to 2 and so on so and uh, so uh, the yeah, and we will take each each edge as a unit one distance over so 1 to 2 the distance would be 1 1 to 3 it will be 2 1 to 4 again 1 similarly uh, we will get maximum distance for 5 to 6 that would be 1 2 3 for distance uh, for distance 3 okay uh, similarly for 6 to 5 also the distance would be come out to be 3 so it is one and the same so uh, we will calculate all the distances and take the maximum of those distances and our answer would be a uh, maximum distance is plus 1 that it would be 4 so if the maximum distance is 3 uh, then we would just add 1 and uh, the answer would be total number of groups formed so this is how we will find the maximum number of groups that would be possible by finding all the distances now the second thing to note here is uh, uh, we have to check the condition when uh, grouping this graph is not possible so one thing here to no note is the second condition 
uh, it says that the this uh, the absolute difference of the two group ids must be one uh, and the similar condition we handle in bipartite graph so it is a graph where we uh, try to assign color one or color two to the adjacent vertices so that no edge has same color so let me discuss that situation also so let us for an example there is a graph one two three four and there is an edge from one to four so in this uh, graph, let us try to assign the groups, group 1, group 2, group 3. For a node 4, uh, if we assign group 2, then this will, this will uh, won't satisfy the condition, it's 2 minus 2 is 0, so we can't assign group 2. If we assign group 3, then 3 minus 3 would all be 0, so condition is not satisfied. If we assign group 5, then 3, uh, so for, sorry, group 4, then 4 minus 2 would be 2. So we can't assign. So this is a situation where we uh, where there is a cycle of odd length, we will return minus one. And the same uh, situation is for can be found with the help of bipartite graph. So we will use the concept of bipartite graph to check if the given graph has a, a cycle of odd length or not. Now the third thing here to notice we have. Uh, we are we have given indication that the graph can be disconnected uh, so uh, for an example there is one graph and there is another uh, and the same graph has another disconnected component let's say this so what we would do is we will, we will find the answer of this kind of component then the answer of this com connected component and we would add them so for an example here the maximum distance would be one 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 that would be three and the answer would be four four groups can be possible from the here and here the maximum distance between any two nodes will be two so we will we can form three nodes from this com connected components and our answer would be summation of both of these that would be seven so similarly we uh, we can find uh, the number of groups in n disconnected components okay i hope this is clear so uh, three things to note here first is we will find the distance between uh, all the vertices or the nodes in a given graph and we will take the maximum of this uh, distance the second thing to note here is we will check if a graph has a odd length cycle or not if it is an odd length cycle then we will simply return minus one and the third thing is if uh, the graph can be disconnected so we will find the answer of each of the disconnected component and we will simply add this okay so now let's move on to the coding part uh, let me first create a vector uh, uh, vector of visited array uh, now i will create uh, so instead of uh, let me declare them global so i will use it in other function as well uh, and i will take a distance 2d area of size 501 501 because there are total uh, total 500 uh, vertices are present in this case okay so now first i will create a adjacency matrix vector in area j of size n plus 1 because the numbering start from 1 then i would traverse through these edges and add uh, the edges into the adjacency matrix Uh, a adjacency of e of 0 dot pushback adjacency of e of 1 and uh, similarly I will do for 1 to 0 that is uh, to create bidirectional uh, graph now the next thing is I will store the distance this is into this this array by performing a BFS so I will call a function for all the nodes for int i equals to 1 less than equals to n for all the nodes from 1 to 1 I will call this function bfs I will pass the adjacency matrix the current node and total number of nodes ok let us uh, now code this function void bfs vector int adjacency matrix 
int source node int total number of nodes okay so first let me field uh, this distance uh, array with maximum value for int i equals to 1 as let's say equal to n plus plus distance of uh, source to i is some maximum value let's say 10001 okay now we, i will update the distance of from source to source as uh, zero okay the distance of itself is zero then i will create a queue uh, and add the source node to it, the queue okay now i will perform the standard bfs call on this adjacency graph and compute the distance okay so why not q dot empty i will grab the front element of the queue and pop it out and for all its adjacent element if for all uh, iterating all the adjacent element of the current node if uh, the current distance is better than the previous distance i will update it so if the distance of current comma uh, it is greater than distance of so sorry not the current from the source source to this adjacent node is greater than source to current node plus one uh, then i would uh, simply update the distance uh, equals to this and i will push uh, the current the current uh, node uh, the node into the queue okay so this is just finding the minimum distances from a node and that is current node uh, from the node that is source node to all the uh, other elements of the component of the component okay so that's it for this bfs function now i will uh, now let's move further so for the disconnected components we would uh, be traversing uh, uh, we would be creating one array let's say vector int connected and we will store all the connected components of one component all the connected nodes of one component in this vector okay so let me first initialize one answer variable as zero then let me resize this visited vector visited uh, resize to n plus one and i will store minus one minus one means we haven't visited yet further i will uh, now check for bipartite graph for the throttle condition so let me now look for from one to up to n if we have not visited the node so it goes to minus one then we will call for bipartite but uh, before calling that like uh, we will always clear this connected because we can have multiple disconnected components uh, so that we will first clear this now we'll call for uh, is bipartite and I will pass the adjacency matrix along with the current node and total number of nodes. And if we, yes, we will do some uh, logic. And if uh, if it is not by that, then we would simply return minus one. Okay. So let us first uh, call this function. That would be the boolean function. Uh, adjacency matrix into source node into total number of nodes okay uh, so here we will simply do a bfs traversal so i have taken the queue and i have added the source node and uh, let me make the visited of source as zero so if you know the uh, logic of this bipartite graph we have to, we have to color all the nodes of a graph with only two colors such that the adjacent color uh, isn't same so we will uh, uh, 
just color the source one with a colored one so that is zero and now we will loop until the queue is empty uh -huh. and for all the elements in the queue we will do for that i just took the size and until size is and doesn't become zero we will write the logic let's take the current uh, element from the queue and pop it out now traversing all its adjacent uh, or the neighboring of this current node for auto it of adjacent of current if uh, visited of it equal equals to minus one that means we have not visited this node then we will simply make a visited of it equals to not of visited of current so this is simply we are uh, coloring with the color two so if it is a color uh, zero then we will color it with one or if it is its parent that is current is with color one then we would color the neighboring with color zero and we will also push it to our queue and in the else condition else if uh, visited of it equal equals to visited of current then we would return false that means we have found a cycle of odd length okay so this this is the code and at the end we would return true if everything is correct then we would return true okay uh, yeah so let's come to this part here we will take one integer temp now we have we have uh, proved that the component or the graph is bipartite now we will check uh, for all the connected nodes connected nodes in that component so for that we have to add the node to this vector connected dot push back current we would uh, add all the all the nodes of the graph into this connected vector and now we would traverse this connected vector to find maximum uh, distances okay so for auto it of connected let me name it iterator one then take another iterator for auto it two of connected uh, and if the distance of it one it two is less less than 10,000 one that is maximum distance then we will just simply uh, update our temp with uh, the maximum of the systems okay and uh, after this the loop is over we will simply add answer plus temp plus one so plus one because we have discussed this we will find the maximum distance and we would add one to it to find number of groups and in the end we will simply return our answer okay so just two things we have did here first we call the bfs function uh, to, uh, to update this distance header then we check for bipartite and since the graph can be disconnected we store all the connected components of one graph and uh, we traverse that uh, component okay and we up keep updating this time variable and added adding it to the answer so let us just run it okay no begin function uh, okay so it is adjacency matrix so the brackets would come now let me run it okay so our test case passed now let me try to submit this okay so guys as you can see here the our code gets accepted and um, yes it was a bit difficult problem to solve but i hope that you got a bit of understanding of how we can solve this question uh, thank you